Well, a chance to talk to another MLC, see how they're doing, and it's uh, David Credi, who I still kind of don't quite see as an MLC. I mean, still see as Minister of Fun and all those things. But I don't see myself as an MLC either. No. It's, I'm a one-term uh, MLC. I will always be a House of Keys person, and I would relish uh, be continuing to be a member of the House of Keys. However, there needed to be change in the Legislative Council, it needed to be progress, and I think me going there for one term may have assisted a little bit in that. I think you were very unhappy your last time I interviewed you. That, you, know, you were so depressed almost. I mean, it's, it's, it's not, not that me. Bad, is it? Um, no, I think it's much better now. I, I really think that the, the members of the Legislative Council now more accurately reflect the population, which is what they're supposed to do. It was more like a, 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 men, a gentleman's club. We're, we're members of parliament, we're members of Timwell. That's not what it's supposed to be. Right. So you see this transition from the boys club to uh, this massive female intake, of course? Uh, well, I think having a female intake with different perspectives uh, is of benefit to the island. OK. But let's just talk about your role. And if, if you, you were down there. You probably saying the same thing. So why are they up there? Why are they getting this money? What are they doing? Can you clarify that you, you, you've seen the inner, inner light now, what goes on there? <sighs> seen the light. <laughs> but my, my, my view was always, and I put this to Liz Vane, that the Legislative Council should be uh, elected by the public. That's always been my position. I put that to Liz Vane. Liz Vane did not agree with that. Um, I felt that um, if they were to be elected on an all-island basis, that would be a benefit to the island. Um, that's something that didn't go any further. I regret that. I hope it'll be revisited in the future. Um, in terms of, the, as I say, the present situation is, in my opinion, much better than it's been. But what role do you see the MLC? Well, principally in? one of scrutiny. Right. Uh, my, the thing I most enjoy, uh, if I enjoy things, if I use that word, uh, it, uh, being a member of the Legislative Council, is chairing the Social Affairs Policy Review Committee, which can be very traumatic at times because we've got some uh, very uh, worrying things to look at from time to time uh, but I think that the work we've done on that so far uh, is very worthwhile and very important in the island. For example, uh, in Timwold I'll be moving the report on mental health. We will then be looking, we are looking already at a, a suicide uh, situation on the Isle of Man. Now donkeys years ago I raised that in Timwold uh, in terms of uh, being a problem not only on the island but further afield. It, why someone would choose to take their own life, particularly if they're a young person, is, is very worrying if you have anything of a social conscience. Um, so I think that situation globally has got worse. So that's something we're looking at. We also have had the Notfield Review, that, uh, which is, I believe, very important work where people who've not been ignored for far too long have been properly listened to. That was something you were definitely pushing hard on. Has it gone the right direction? Because obviously talking to some of the survivors, or what you want to call the victims, uh, they've got different views on how it's been handled. They have. Some, some, some uh, members of uh, former uh, people who were at uh, Notfield uh, during this period believe it should have been a, a judge-led uh, public inquiry, an independent public inquiry. I've tried to explain that this uh, I'm not a member of the government, I'm a member of Timwold. This is a parliamentary inquiry and as such I won't be uh, put off by anything that the government may wish to uh, uh, say. We will be coming, we've come out with what we see the truth and what we see as recommendations and w what we see in terms of Timwold apologising to the people who've had many years of stress and pain and agony and people have taken their own lives as a result of this. Have, you, have you felt there's been pressure on you from any directions to no. not to do this? No, not no. To be sure. no. But uh, w what I would say is that at the start of all this there was resistance from some government departments to the actually being a parliamentary review and I think they were wrong and I think the time will prove that they were wrong and I hope that the outcome which will be achieved eventually will be the right outcome. Now talking about legislation, do you see a place for MLCs to enact, to bring forward their own things like this? Or do you, you know, how do you balance yeah, this? Yeah, well f obviously the House of Keys is the most important uh, body, it's directly elected, it's accountable to the people and as such it's them that should be bringing forward legislation. There are exceptions from time to time, for example when the Attorney General may bring forward legislation uh, as he has in the past. 
Um, however, I think the role of the Legislative Council in terms of scrutiny of legislation is very important. There are different pressures on members of the Legislative Council than there are on the House of Keys, um, and as such, it's, time, it's, good, it's useful to have time to reflect, but ultimately, the decisions finally, rightly, are with the House of Keys. So, what happens when you do get this thing that the, the, the two sections disagree? Yes, it hasn't happened since, uh, since the last general election, but what happens is representatives of both branches would get together uh, to discuss the differences of opinion, uh, um, a, a, and a, an outcome would be hopefully ar arrived at which meets uh, both sides' concerns. If not, then the House of Keys will will dominate, which is right. Let's talk about the money side of things. This constant thing that comes up. I mean, you know, from the pay rise that's going through and all that sort of mm. thing. Are you, <laughs> you personally, but do you think you, that the, the money's right and the expenses issue, which you know, still mm. in a lot of people's eyes, they can't get their head around it. But over to you. You, you you've seen it now from both sides. Come on. Yes. Well. Um, in, ter in terms of the uh, members of the Legislative Council, the members of the House of Keys, I I'm a member of the Emoluments Committee, and at a meeting with the Emoluments Committee, that more than one meeting, I've put forward that members of the Legislative Council shouldn't receive the same amount of uh, remuneration as members of the House of Keys. Members of the House of Keys have constituents, and as such, uh, they have wider responsibilities. I've been quoted by, um, in particular, P Positive Action Group as saying that um, my workload is su substantially less than it was. Well, you have to take into account that not only was I minister, I had a very busy constituency, um, and obviously the parliamentary work as well. So I am a lot uh, uh, less occupied than I, I once was. One of the reasons I put forward to uh, the uh, Chief Minister to perhaps be a spokesperson on behalf of older people uh, was just that, that I've got time on my hands and I think I could usefully contribute. And that, that failed, didn't it? It failed um, and I regret that very much because anybody who's got any idea about the future, if people are living longer, if people are staying in their own hom homes longer, then there are going to be uh, massive issues uh, affecting older people uh, and lonely people and I think I could have played a part there, but the government decided that wasn't going to be the case. So back to this money thing, what should the differences be and the expenses as well? Yes, well in terms of the expenses, I, uh, when I was a member of the House of Keys and since, uh, my expenses have always went on things such as supporting local sport and organisations, um, or whenever you go somewhere you're expected to make donations or charitable donations, so it, it always went towards there. I didn't ever keep a copy of my expenses as such. Uh, you may remember that it was me that uh, headed up the thing about the uh, fuel allowance. I, that was never done on receipts, so people could claim three, five thousand pounds a year additional petrol money on top of their salary. I thought that was wrong. Now there are very few, if any, who will still claim that. Should you get the expenses there at all? Well, I think the expenses, first of all, it shouldn't be tax-free. Uh, in my opinion, it should be all lumped together in terms of salary. As I've said, I think that the responsibilities of members of the Legislative Council are less than those of the members of the House of Keys. Uh, and as such, the salary should reflect that. Yeah, but should How you go down or should the MHKs go up? No, the members, the members of the Legislative Council should go down. Now. now, my only concern about that would be, and I would want to make this point, uh, is that I wouldn't want it just to be somewhere where people who could afford to be members of the Legislative Council, people who are wealthy, and could, it would just be kind of a bonus on top of what they already had. I think that would be wrong because, as I said earlier, I think the Legislative Council should reflect, as the House of Keys should reflect the Alaman society, and as such, um, people such as myself or Peter Caron, who came from very humble backgrounds, I think it's important that we uh, were members of the House of Keys, whereas in the past it was either the chosen ones or, or, or wealthy people who could afford to do it. Okay. Before we finish, how long have you got for your term to go? I finish in February uh, next year. Is it next year? Yeah. Oh, goodness. So, uh, that's a year to go. What is the plans for David Credit? You're not going to just sit back and put your slippers on, are you? Are you? Uh, no. I don't, <laughs> no. I, I've, got, I've got two grandkids. Yeah. I, love, I love my grandkids. My biggest regret when I was a member of the House of Keys, 
uh, I was 110% committed to that job, and as such, I missed out on certain things with my own kids. So I would like to ha spend more time with the grandchildren. I've got lots of things to do. I love walking. I'd like to finish the parish walk again. But political hand, keeping political, it in somewhere well, in the dynasty. Um, uh, you know, anyone in the family want, might be popping forward. You know, you never know. But what I w what I would say is that I I am a political animal, and as such, uh, it it will be hard. But I would want to resist making comment when I'm, I'm no longer a member of Timbald. I would try to ha take a back seat. Whether I'm able to achieve that or not is another matter.